Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one and I'm starting a timer. Sure, Heck yeah, dude. So TNT, TNT, you know what goes really good with NFTs? Uh, money. Adult film stars. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, had you heard the story about this yet? No. So there is a uh, adult film actress. Uh -huh. She goes by the name of Lana Rhodes. I'm familiar with her... Uh, Philanthropy. Yeah, and she decided that she was going to put out a project called Crypto Sis. I'm sorry. And it was and it was going to be NFTs of her dressed up in different sort of environments, like Christmas Lana and whatever. Why is it called Christmas Sis? Cri crypto Sis. S I S. S I S. Crypto Sis. I like, thought you'd C Y S T. Oh, oh no, <laughs> no, 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 like no. that sounds horrible. So. So what she did is, uh, you know, she promoted. She had her. Tw she has a pretty big Twitter following, I guess. Okay. She had like, like her Twitter was like over a million, and her Instagram was like sixteen million or something. Fair and enough. she was promoting. And of course, there was a bunch of simp's who and incels who follow porn stars. Simp's and incels. Wow. <laughs> Who, you hear that, guys? If you're following a porn star, not, you're not, a simp and an incel. I didn't say that. If you did, you are. Oh. Just out of those sixteen million. I guarantee some are. Okay, fine. And uh, so fine. she started selling these NFTs. Okay. And they were valued at like like 260, 250 bucks a piece. Okay. And, and, she, and she promoted them like, yay, it's going to be an investment. They're going to go up in value, you know, all this oh, stuff. Yeah. Oh. So they almost immediately went down to nothing. <laughs> I, think right, I think I said right now they're only worth like 26 bucks or whatever. <laughs> So uh, and people started like talk, talking shit on on like the Discord she set up and her whatever. So she uh, she rug pulled it, dude. She took all the money. <gasps> she did. She that. Uh, so there was I think I said like one point five million dollars that she wrote she raised from this. It was like no. and uh, and then she like deleted her Twitter and said, but she came out and said it was because people were being so unkind. The community was toxic. And said like I just had a baby and I'm going through this and I you're just yeah, had and a you're baby. and I'm not trying to scam anybody and da 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 oh, and like you did though you did though you did though exactly and what she you said did, was though. that she pulled the money out of the liquidity or whatever the 1.5 million because she had to pay off the people who did the project for her or whatever the Ooh, NFT bruh, people and, that's yeah. not what you told us you were gonna do with our investment right exactly so you should have wrote that in the fine print man. Right. Maybe, I mean, sure, these people probably didn't necessarily ask either. But right, still. but, you know, then, of course, there's people online like, I only had $6,000 to my name, and I put 4000 into Whoa. your NFTs, and I have a son. And I'm like, well, who's who Who made the bad decision? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, obviously they made the bad decision, but that doesn't mean that uh, a, a fool, okay, a fool and his money will shortly be uh Wait, separated. say it one more time. A fool and their money are easily separated, I believe. Is okay, it. yeah, I guess it makes a fool and his money, yeah. But that doesn't make it a right to separate the fool from his money. Right, exactly. Exactly. Well, it will, I mean, you see how people, uh, guys pour money into cam girls and online porn. So, I mean, so it's like, you know, you're going to offer something that's like $260 a pop. So if he spent 4 k dude, this dude bought what? There was 16 of them, right? Yeah. And so he thought, I'm going to triple gazillion my investment on my my porn star cartoon picture NFTs. And uh, The thing is, is that when she sets it up, dude, it becomes on her to raise the value of it. Right. Abs I mean, really. It's an investment in her and her ability to raise the value. Well, and here's the thing. Okay. Like, porn stars have hard time in mainstream anyways because of, like, what they do. It's taboo, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So... She's already behind the eight ball trying to, like, like anyone who's not into porn is not buying these NFTs. Yeah. You know, like, even NFT collectors aren't going to go, ooh, a porn star's NFT. Let me jump on that. No, it's not going to happen. Yeah. And she's not, like, the Jenna Jameson of porn. Like, she's not. She, <laughs> it ain't Jameson. like she's, like, it isn't like when people go, tell me a porn star, the first person they say is Lana Rhodes. I mean, she's she's up there. Though. I mean, she's yeah, she's definitely she newer and po more. Po she's like a more modern day type, but but she's not, she's not the most mainstream. No, and that's the thing. It's like, 
if we were to come out with a with a uh, with a crazy town coin, a Dino coin, a Jono coin, right, or even NFTs, then it becomes like people are investing in you. But that doesn't mean that you can just keep S and D and 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 banging the same guys that you banged a bunch of times in your Ron Jeremy flicks. You know, <laughs> you right. you gotta you gotta up the ante. We'd have to up the ante. We got to start doing some all gas no break. She's got to start doing some stunts that are going to raise the value of the coin. Right, because right. Because exactly. the coin is based on her. Right, exactly. Exactly. So we need, there needs to be news around it, but she's just out here just doing the same thing. Right, well, actually doing nothing and then getting offended when people are mad. Yeah. So, and, then, and then pulling the plug. You know, the government is supposed to be, like, uh, doing some work uh, to centralize these <laughs> coins. Yeah, which the whole point of them is decentralization, which I find completely laughable. Um, you know, it's like, hey, mm. let's have this decentralized money. Hey, the government's like, hey, we're going to centralize everything. And you're like, oh, so you can get your hands on it and corrupt it and do your things with it and oh, yeah, let that, hedge funds get involved with it. So and, check it. They're also coming out with their own coin. Yeah, right. What I, what I thought was really funny is they announced forever, like, Biden's really doing this. And, and this is not a Biden thing. It's not a political thing at all. Just he happens to be the president. Um, and then, like, his whole big announcement was, we're going to look into this further. <laughs> I was like, what? What kind of a big announcement is that? I, and Look, and I do understand is that things like this, this case right here, happen, and this should not be allowed. Like, there's no way she can't be either, she shouldn't be either brought up on charges or penalized it's fra- in some it's, way. A fr- it's fraud. Exactly. Yeah. At least distribute the money back to the uh, the people who put in for it, and, you know, they take the L. But yeah. you give them, you give them the value. Well, see there, and I see, like, I, I think people who do it on purpose, yes, they should be held accountable. But There's at the same time, if you invest in a stock for a company and it goes, mm-hmm. the, the company goes bankrupt, they aren't charged. Yeah, but they they still have to pay out their. Not if they go bankrupt. She didn't go bankrupt. But I mean, but if she, but she she may not she may have put it under Lana Rhodes LLC. Which, then she's not accountable because which she's, would be smart. But she didn't go bankrupt. She closed the business. Right, she pulled all the took, money. Right, exactly. But she just it's, took it's, all the money. But, and here, ran, but here, but here's the other which thing is too. Illegal, even if it's, you're in a business. I like you know rug pulled crypto is a big thing, especially with like meme meme mm-hmm. shit coins, whatever you know, mm-hmm. but, coins that don't have like use cases that in the real world. Um, but here's the other thing, man. It's like if you play, it's like in the stock market. If you play games with penny stocks. Yeah. You're gonna get burnt, man, because yeah. because it there's pump and dump everything. So if you're playing with essentially the penny stocks of crypto, you're gonna get a bad bet. But like, it's 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 that it's that line, man. Because like the whole point of crypto is decentralization. So like, pe- big banks can't like control your money and yeah. da da da. And, and there's usually you know, and then there's it's just it's 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 a weird. But on the same note, there's people out here who are getting into people's crypto freaking wallets and taking millions of dollars or taking all their freaking cartoon apes. And, you know, right. so there has to be something that we can penalize these people for the crimes that they're committing. And right. It's thing. the Wild West right now. It, it really is. And yeah. it's, it's sad because when rug pulls like this or people lose their NFTs, it delegitimizes the entirety of it. Like even the, the legitimate coins, like your Bitcoins or your Ethereum or your Dogecoins, which are legitimate coins because whether you like it or not, Dogecoin is worth more than a Ruple right now. Yeah. So whatever, all those people holding Ruples in Russia wish they had Dogecoin. Dogecoin right now, and yeah, some exactly. of them are actually yeah, mine. Even though Dogecoin's lost like eighty percent of its value, exactly. Um, it's definitely, uh, <laughs> it's definitely um, more worth more than the Ruple. I mean, exactly. Roblox, Roblox currency is also also worth more than the Ruple, by the way. But exactly. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we are out.